Hey guys, Satire Pie here and welcome to episode 5 of Daily Cash Boost. Now this is kind of going to be a two-parter. Um, the next two episodes are going to be based on farming herbs. This episode is going to be a lower level guide. And we'll be planting toad flax and you need 38 farming to plant toad flax. Optional um, requirement is the completion of My Arms Big Adventure I believe. Which gives you access to another farm patch in Trollheim or near Trollheim. Um, so yeah, if you have that patch open then great, if not it won't affect your profit too much I don't think. And um, with this method I won't be using Juju farming potions because it's a lower level method. But if you do have access to Juju farming potions it will be advantageous, incredibly advantageous to use them because it will um, boost your profit by a lot. And again, as I said, this I will be planting toad flax because it only has a farming level of 38. So most people can do this. It's a very low requirement. Other things you'll need, um, basically, is uh, you should have all your farming tools in your tool belt. If you don't, then you're silly and smack yourself in the face. Um, you'll need teleport runes to get to your locations. Now, Trollheim, the, it, unless you have Livid Farm spell unlocked, which you probably don't if you're doing toad flax, that you're, if you're a lower level, then it's best to teleport to Trollheim, which is um, two fire runes and two lore runes. You'll also need Ectophile to get to the Mauritania farming patch. Um, you'll need to get some, somehow get to the Ardi farming patch. Now, if you have an Ardi cloak three or four, which again you probably don't if you're lower level, you can just use the Ardi tele runes and run up north, uh, uh, um, north east a bit. Or you can use a skills necklace which will teleport you to the fishing guild and run east. Sorry I'm a bit bunked up with hay fever so I sound a bit, a bit weird. Um, you'll also need a, a way to get to the Fally farming patch. Now to get there you can use the cabbage port on your explorer's rig which the um, requirements aren't too bad for that. If not you can use a glory and teleport to drainer and then run northwesty type thing. So I'm going to start at Trollheim because that's where I usually start when I do my farm runs. Again, if you don't have the requirements to get here, then I would leave it out. Um, obviously, because you can't do it. But uh, if you can do that quest, it's really good because this f this f um, herb patch up here, where we're, we're going to go now, um, they never get diseased. Oh, I forgot to mention, you actually do need some super compost. It's You can just use normal compost, but your herbs will get diseased more often. And you'll get a better yield with um, super compost. So you can either buy it in the Grand Exchange, or just make it at, at uh, in compost bins. I usually use watermelons, because they're a lot cheaper. Well, they were cheaper at the time than pineapples. And at the time, they were the cheapest thing that can be made in super compost. So if you're just following me, we're going to the Trollheim herb spot. And I really do apologise for my sick sounding voice. I am sick. Um, but yeah. So up here, I have my super compost in the leprechaun. Well, stored with the leprechaun, not inside the leprechaun, because that would be very odd. And just to note, I am wearing um, the magic secateurs and the um, valley shield. I should probably take these magic secateurs off because then it's kind of more accurate because they give you a higher, a better yield. The valley shield doesn't give you a better yield, that just gives you extra expo uh, experience points when planting crops at the valley patch. So I'm going to leave that on, but I will take that off so it's uh, more of a true representation of how much money you can make. So again, no juju parts, this is just straight up forward farming and let's price check the, the seeds. So to make a profit we need to make more than 7k. So let's pick these herbs. What I also like to do is I actually clean them as I'm running to different farm patches before I um, give them to the leprechaun to note. So I usually start at Trollheim and uh, teleport to Mauritania using the Ectophile. You can, if you're not using Juju farming potions, you can basically do them in any order. But when I use, when I do a farm run, I'm usually using Juju's 
Do 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 do. Um. So I usually have a five minute timer, so I usually have to start Trollheim. But you'll see how I do it with the uh, with Juju's in the next episode, and the next episode we'll be planting a different herb. Oh, I forgot to clean these. I usually clean them running because you can clean and run at the same time. And that's uh, I like to be efficient. Well, not really. If anyone knows me, I'm the least efficient person ever. But it's okay. <laughs> no, I haven't done toe plaques in a really long time, but I think I'm gonna. Well, I've got 50 in the bank that I'm gonna start doing anyway because um, I'm collecting my birds' nests from from uh, the kingdom. So uh, you know, I want a bit of free herbal or XP. So I am gonna start planting them myself. Although it probably would be better to just plant the other herb that I'm going to tell you about in the next episode and just use the profits to buy toad flax. Um, so yeah, I've just cabbage port cabbage ported to the Fally patch. You could just either use the Fally teleport run down or the um, port sarim lodestone if you really want to run that far. It's, it's pretty far away. Um, the fastest way if you don't have cabbage port would be the drain or tally uh, the Rain or glory telly, and then um, run like northwestish to this patch. And now I'm going to teleport. Oh no, I'm not going to teleport because did I put? Yeah, I put some super compost on there. <laughs> um, now I'm going to teleport to the Ardy farming patch. Again, the fastest way is obviously using the Ardy cloak. If you have the Ardy cloak three, you can teleport there once a day. Have it four if you have the RD Cloak four you can teleport as many times as you want. But if not, the fishing guild, um you can teleport to the fishing guild with a skills necklace, which is just just west of here and just run east. Or if you don't have a skills necklace, which they're pretty cheap to buy, um you can just teleport to RD and then run to this patch. Right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lodestone to Catherby. If you haven't unlocked this lodestone or just don't want to wait 30 seconds, you can just um, teleport to Camelot and then run east to the Catherby farming patch. Um, I find that just it, it takes just as long to use the, um, to teleport and then run east to the, the, just the, the lodestone there. Oh wow, I'm really bad, sorry. <laughs> I can't breathe at the moment. Oh, so we're going to give these herbs to the dude. Go, 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 go. I'm going to run out of space. I think the high, I guess the higher farming level, the less chance of getting diseased. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'd imagine so. Um, Let's give this so we just know all our herbs. And then plant your seeds for the next use. And then let's price check these ba these bad boys up. Um, 139k. So you've made a hundred, a 130k this run. Now, although this is called daily cash boost, you can do more than one set of herbs a day. Um, I usually do one in the morning and one at night two a day is very easy even if you don't play that much um, but you can plant them every 75 to 90 minutes or so I believe um, depending on if they get depending on if they get uh, diseased um, I personally like to plant them every two or three hours if I'm on that if I'm if I'm playing but if not I just do one in the morning and one at night so if we just say an average every person does um, two runs a day that's a uh, hundred and thirty K times two I didn't actually need to calculate that but I just like to have the uh, the actual sum on screen and so every day you'll get 260 K and if you times that by seven obviously you'll get um, 1.8 million times that by four you'll get that much <laughs> 7.2 mil and you times that by 12 
and you'll get 87 million is that right yeah <laughs> sorry I'm a bit loopy today had too much cold medicine and hay fever medicine so 87 million for doing two runs they take literally less than five minutes a time um, because I know that because my juju farming potion only lasts five minutes and I can easily get these patches done in an under five minutes so 87 million a year if you do if you take 10 minutes every day it's pretty good in my opinion in the next episode we'll be doing higher level herbs not too higher level but it does require the juju farming potions um, another hint that I've just got a message from someone I think his name's Gullatrix uh, oh yeah I will put the name up on screen right here sorry I can't remember your name dude um, which you should go and subscribe to him um, he suggests making super compost while you're doing your f your f um, herb runs and I I don't do that I just tend to do one patch and keep my supply topped up but um, you basically if you put 15 super compostable herbs in uh, not herbs items in this compost bin you can uh, you make super compost and it takes about the same time I think it takes an hour for them to turn into to compost so and you can just uh, take your buckets out and fill it up and let's just price check this because I never thought of selling it I just use it for my own consum consumption da -da -da -da. let's price check these bad boys Oh, so you get 11k and then there's uh, actually four compost bins so you get an extra 40k you can easily fill up the four compost bins with very little money so you next get an extra 40k per run if you do that um, yeah if you do that while you're firm while you're farming your herbs so that's another tip thanks a lot for your for your for your message dude um, and yeah I'll see you in a couple of days for the next part of this this episode I apologize for sounding gross and yeah goodbye guys <laughs>